I believe we're living in the time of tremendous deception, but also there we're living in the the time of of betrayal. Not only betrayal to the Lord, but also betrayal to one another. And the scripture says, Cursed is the man that puts his trust in man. And I know the Lord spoke to me recently and said, Don't trust any man. This is the time where the discernment where where there's a need for discernment to be able to discern between good and evil to be able to discern from right from wrong and we can see in the scripture this comes right down to a kiss In Psalm, the second chapter, it says in verse 12, Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way. Now we know that Judas kissed the son, right? He kissed Jesus. But why? Why did he kiss the son? When he did kiss the son, even though his motive was wrong, even though it was a plot in a conspiracy against the son of God himself, Why didn't the Lord consume Judas right there? Why wasn't God's wrath kindled against Judas right there? Jesus called Judas friend. God is love. But what was the motive? That's what this is all coming down to. The discernment of truth. I do believe the Lord has a few in the land that can discern between the real and the fake. I remember the Lord challenging me as I was praying over my meal And the Lord, it was like the Lord was saying, did you really mean that? Because we get into a routine, don't we? We get into a form. We just pray as a form. Do we really mean it? 
when we ask or when we give. It's not a matter. See, I've heard him say, ask thanks. No, we don't ask God for thanks. We give thanks. And not only the tradition of thanksgiving, but when we thank God over when we're praying over our meals, when we're asking asking God to bless our food, are we truly thankful for that food? Now, if it is a meal we're eating and we were starving and it's food that where we haven't eaten in a long time and and will I think we would tend to be more thankful but truly when you ask the Lord to bless your food when you pray over your food and you give thanks for your food do you really mean it what was Judas doing when he came in the garden and he kissed Jesus on the face what was he doing the scripture says that he plotted a conspiracy with the enemies of God to see Jesus arrested and he did all of this for 30 pieces of silver What did Jesus ever do to Judas? What wrong thing? What what did Jesus ever do to Judas for Judas to have a motive against Jesus? The scripture says that Judas became possessed He wasn't always possessed. It started out with covetousness. He started to steal what was in the bag, the money that was freely given to the ministry. He started stealing, started coveting. And I'm sure if he would have went to Jesus and asked for that, Jesus probably would have gave it to him. Without question, Jesus would have gave it to him. And if he didn't give it to him, it was because there was good reason why he didn't give it to him. How many times today we ask God for something in We don't get the answer right away. It might be that God doesn't want you to have it. But Judas took it upon himself to steal. And this was just as serious, if not as serious, as stealing from the treasury from the King David. Judas was stealing out of the bag. This was the treasury. This was the kingdom of God. He wasn't stealing from man. He was stealing from God's kingdom. And I believe we're living in a time where True discernment is needed. And discernment is to help. It's not to destroy or to hurt. It's it's true judgment. To be able to judge between that which is right and that which is wrong. Between that which is evil and that which is good. And I believe the Lord has a few in the land that he is entrusting with that judgment. The judgment is 
right judgment. There needs to be right judgment. There needs to be right judgment. And that's not going to happen if there's corruption. We see right now in our judicial system here in this country where many times things are done, even as far as even the judge has been corrupted. Even the judge has become corrupt. There are things that are being passed in our country right now, laws being passed that are not constitutional. They are not legal because of corruption. A lot of money changing hands. Filthy money that's being laundered. They might think it's clean, but in the eyes of God, it's filthy lucre. It's filthy. This is going on in the church. They think because they, uh, they write a book, they think somehow that they've laundered that money because they're making their, their riches or their wealth off of writing books about Jesus. They think it's become laundered. No, you haven't laundered that. God knows your motive. All these ministries today that are writing books and making millions of dollars off their books, they're doing it with the name of Christ. Making merchandise of God's people. God's not going to hold them guiltless. They might think they're getting away with it, but they've turned, Jesus said, you've turned my father's house into a den of thieves and robbers. It's to be a house of worship, house of prayer. I believe God has some in the land with a right spirit, a right heart, that does not get their judgment from their own understanding, but they get their judgment from the Lord. Jesus said, As I hear, I judge. That's wisdom. Jesus did nothing of himself. He said, what I hear, I judge. I do nothing except what I see the Father doing. He said, my judgment is just, it is right judgment, it is true judgment, because I don't seek my own glory. There's a need today for right judgment. Amen? Right judgment. We shouldn't be so quick to run up and kiss the face of Jesus. Listen to what the verse of Scripture is before this verse. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with giddiness. Nonchalant. Lukewarmness. Now listen to what it says. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Is that how we rejoice in the church today? With trembling? And then he follows it up with the scripture, Kiss the Son. 
rejoicing with trembling and kissing the sun. This is very serious. This is discernful. We know what we're doing and we know why we're doing it. True worship from true discernment.